channel Code with Neha. So today I am back with another interesting topic. Hope you all will like it. So without any further delay, let's get started. In my previous video of MySQL series, I have discussed about difference between drop and delete command in MySQL. You can check the video from the above i button. Today, I am going to discuss about the difference between drop and delete and truncate statement in mysql which is also very important for interviews so without any further delay let's get started mysql truncate table statement the mysql truncate table statement is used to delete only the data of an existing table but not the table Truncate command is a DDL or data definition language. This command helps to truncate a table completely in one go instead of deleting table records one by one which will be very time consuming and hefty process. Syntax for truncate command is truncate table, table name. Let's apply this with some example. Today I am using customers1 table under orders infotech database. Simply using query truncate table customers1 to truncate table. Here we can see only data is deleted but the structure of table remains same. Let's summarize the difference between delete, truncate and drop. The delete statement is used to remove one or more rows from a table based on a specific condition. Whereas truncate statement is used to delete all rows from a table in a more efficient way than the delete statement. Delete removes rows from the table whereas truncate removes all the data from the table and drop removes the entire table or database objects. Third point is delete is slower than truncate as it removes row one by one which makes it less efficient whereas truncate is faster than delete for removing all rows from the table at once. Drop is faster as it deletes the entire table. Here note that delete is data manipulation language DML whereas truncate and drop both are DDL data definition language. Delete can be rolled back, truncate cannot be rolled back and drop is non-reversible operation. Syntax of delete is delete from table name where condition. Truncate syntax is truncate table, table name and syntax of drop is drop table, table name. Let's apply the remaining drop and delete query to the table. 
query to delete details of employee named Rakesh from the table. So the query will be delete from customers1 where employee name equals to Rakesh. Execute the query, you will see the details of Rakesh is deleted. In the same process, delete the details of Komal from the table. To drop the table, the syntax is drop table customers1. After executing the query, we can see the entire table customers1 is deleted. So that's all for today. Hope you all will get some help from this video. If it's so, then don't forget to subscribe my channel Code with Neha and press the bell icon for regular updates. See you in the next video. Till then, stay safe, stay happy.